Right. Plus, the feds are now investigating the accused shooter were not alerted when he bought a gun. So is there a breakdown in the system? Former Assistant Secretary of Defense and President of the Center for Security Policy, Frank Gaffney, joins us from D.C. this morning. Good morning to you, Frank. Good morning, folks. I know we've had a chance to discuss this case with you in the last couple of days, but how do you see it now? We're a week past this shooting happening. Sort of analyze for us, if you can, how you see it unfolding. Well, I think the evidence just continues to accumulate that this was an individual who adheres to what authoritative Islam calls Sharia, and that the evidence of that make, making him, in effect, an incipient jihadist, if not an active jihadist, um, was ignored systematically uh, by people who found, I think, it's simply too risky to their careers um, to raise an alarm about a Muslim who was, uh, as you've indicated in the teaser for this, making no secret of his loyalties and his interest in advancing the cause that Sharia requires him to engage in, which is this promotion of a sort of global Islamic theology and, right. and uh, program. And uh, in fact, uh, the big news this morning, Frank, is apparently this guy had some business cards that he printed up off the internet that said he was an SOA, a soldier of Allah, and it also said uh, glory to God as well. There's the business card right there, and we've highlighted the part that we're yeah. talking about. Uh, but, but what we worry about is uh, because we heard from some of the doctors who uh, assessed him about a year ago at uh, Walter Reed, they were afraid to fire him because, you know, it's complicated to fire a doctor and they didn't want to appear to be bigots or discriminating a guy who is racist or rather who is Muslim. And so that opens a whole nother problem. It does indeed, and, and I think this is what we are seeing, whether it's uh, the intelligence agencies that assess that his direct ties or his direct contacts at least on 10 to 20 occasions with a recruiter for Al-Qaeda, an imam in Yemen, wasn't a real problem, that the guys who were watching him uh, provide his uh, you know, uh, master's program performances in, uh, in the University of the Health Sciences, advancing the idea that uh, you know, we're engaged in a war against Islam, that wasn't a problem. In short, what everybody's engaged in on our side, if you will, has been acts of what I think is best called submission. It's yeah. not just political correctness, it's actually saying, you know, we can't resist, we can't call this guy to account, it's too dangerous for us and our careers. Great point of view. All right, uh, Frank, uh, we're short Very this morning because we're going to go to the president uh, in Japan right now. Thank you, Frank Gaffney, for joining us live. Thank you.